Hi again everybody, uh, another video in the active series. I want to show the uh, Enneagram, Gurdjieff's Enneagram. And this is the basis of the law of vibration. Uh, this, this gives you the complete number set of one through nine. And you can see if you start at one, you can see the arrows point to the movement of energy. So it goes one, four, two, eight, five, seven, and back to one. You can see the three, six, nine form an independent triangle. The three, six, nine are the three forces. The one, two, four, five, seven, eight are the uh, flow of energy it through the uh, Enneagram in that particular group of numbers. So let's say that nine is the dough point where one of your forces is located. This would be re, me. Number four would be the fa tone with your intervening force at three. So that's five, number five is so, which is the fifth. Number six is your next force right in front of the la tone. Then number eight is your T tone, and then you go back to Do as you go around the circle. So in the octave, you have seven tones, seven intervals, space between tones, and then at the eighth note, you are at Do again as you double from the, the one, the first tone. So now, take that and uh, how do we derive this one four two eight five seven sequence? How is that derived and why is the flow of energy in that particular order? We'll bring in a calculator. So we have seven tones in the octave. If we divide one divided by seven, we get one, four, two, eight, five, seven in this repeating sequence. If we take two divided by seven, we get the same number sequence, one, four, two, eight, five, seven, only it starts at point two, eight, five, seven, one, four. And you can take this all the way from three through seven, and you're gonna see the same number repeating. Take four divided by seven gives us 0.57, one, four, two, eight, five, seven. You see the uh, sequence is there. It just changes at the starting point, 0.71428, five, seven, and so on. And then six divided by seven, 0.857142, one, four, two, eight, five, seven. There it is again. So that is the construct of the active and the forces are built off of this point. So what you can do with this, you can take your active and divide it into seven equal parts. And those and when you do that, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna use that point one four two eight five seven and all those various sequences and you can uh, set your fib tool up with that and get a little bit of a different perspective. So let me set a fib tool up and drop it on a chart and see what that looks like. Okay, what I'm going to do is overlay the 142857 uh, sequence in the fib tool. Right now I've got it overlaid over the major octave doe to doe from the 896 to 1792 level. And you can see that right here. I've set it up here at this doe level and taken it up to the higher doe level. And here are the ratios right here and I'm gonna block those in with this just so you can see them okay there they are there's the uh, 1 4 the 2 8 the 4 2 the 5 7 the 7 1 and the 8 5 that gives us our intervals it gives us the uh, seven intervals between do to do so actually I'll move this down to show take it all the way down to do Oops. Okay, there it is. There's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven tones between the two do levels. So now what uh, what you can do if you don't have the octave levels worked out, you can use this as a quick replacement. It's not as effective on its own. Uh, if you're doing the octaves inside of octaves, it's it's a much more reliable method. But I'm going to overlay this on this octave so you can see where it intersects with the inner octaves and where it doesn't. So here's the one four level that overlaps the uh, the re tone of this minor uh, re to me octave here. So you can see that's where that one is. The two eight is right here. That's on the uh, mi note of the mi to so octave. In that area there, the four two is on top of the la level of the mi to so octave. The five seven is right here on the re level of the so to do octave. The uh, seven one level is out on an island by itself, and you can see that it didn't really impact the market the first time it was breached. Then the 8.5 level, 8.5 level is close to the la level of the uh, so to do active right there. So you can see when you're doing the uh, inner actives, when you plot the three inner actives, you don't really need the 1.428.57 uh, fib. It's just a quick replacement if you aren't doing the active work you can use that let's move this up and take a look at it on the uh, so to do active right there so there are the tones here you can see the one four the two eight the five seven right in there so now you can see how the tones overlap to the higher active there the 14 is close to the 12 and a half which is the ray tone the 28 close to the uh, me tone the 42 on an island by itself it's kind of close to where the uh, other plot was on the other active the 57 again by on its own not much of an impact the 7 one is close to the la level and the 8.5 is at the T level of the uh, soda dough active. Taking a look at that a little bit further down the line here, you can see the levels here. There's the 1.4 level, the 2.8. the 4.2 right here, the 5.7 right here, the 7.1 is right there, 16.63 area, and then the last 8.5 is there. So you can see by looking at these on the daily chart across a few years of soybeans over about the last two and a half years, you can see that that would be okay standalone, but it's it's much better if you do the uh, three octaves inside your main octave. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show on octaves. You can use that as a quick uh, look. Just take the even seventh tones, but it works much better if you use the diatonic ratios. Plot your master octave, then find your three inner octaves and Really, uh, if you concentrate on the do, fa, so, and la tones, uh, you're going to be in good shape with your trading. So I did want to bring that enneagram in and show you the uh, sequence of that seven. That's what's behind the law of vibration and the law of three and seven.